So, I'm on to update you. Um, my mom has seen my hair, and she likes it. I'm so happy because I, honestly, my mom's kind of a stricter mom, and that's not being rude, she is strict. And, you know, because to her, she doesn't want me to grow up. Is that she wants me to be her little girl, and like, and you can tell that she won't admit to that, but you can tell that very clearly because like she's always asking, oh, can I like put braids in your hair? Oh, can I like do your hair or something? Like things that I don't need her to do anymore. Hmm. And. So you can tell, like, I personally buy strict. There's different levels that I can say. A, a parent. There's the one, there's the ones that are, like, very loose and kind of let you do whatever you want. And those, personally, I don't like too much. I, I get letting them do kind of whatever they want. But to a point, you know, you got to have some rules. You no, know, and make them not like crazy rules. You know, like make them reasonable, actual, decent rules. Cause if you kind, of, cause we have had some family members, a few, quite a few people who kind of got to do whatever they want, and now that they're like older, they kind of. I think that, oh, do whatever they want, and it's just how it can be. They don't understand that life has rules. You know? Like, you're going to get rules in life, and those rules teach you to be, they help you be a better person. But don't be the overly strict parent. the end this person Don't be the overly strict person. And so, something. So, overall, overall, my mom literally can be strict. You know, like, 
I'm she literally I got a TV in my room when I was twelve, and like life started growing for me. Like I feel like I was definitely dealing with an even stricter life up until twelve. Then when twelve years old hit, she started being a little more like uh, reasonable. Not much, but a little bit. A little bit, like, she let me get, like, a TV in my room. It was a little bitty one, one that I literally got rid of not too long ago because, um, um, we got a new TV. Pretty much, we got one for the living room. It's bigger than the one that we had. Then we put the one that was in the living room in here. You can see it right there. And then the one that was in here went my room so um um it, it will be useful when my new Bella is down but right now it's kind of not useful because right now it's literally like oh I don't do anything in my room but film so and if you're wondering why there's tape on my phone then because, so, we are dumb in our house. We do not buy screen protectors. We don't like wasting the money. And so, and my phone had a huge crack. I had to cross the screen that we generally didn't know where it came from. So we just covered it up with some tape because that's a hard thing to do. Honestly, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, my mom was actually really happy with my hair and I was like, it's crazy because I, first up, I didn't think, I thought she was going to put up a little bit more of an argument to even let me do it than what she did. Like, usually, in my mind, I thought I would, like, ask her, like, oh, can I cut my own hair, you know? I'll give it a little trim, and yeah, up as a natural cut. I you know. Um, and that she would be like, oh, no, um, just have your dad do it, you know, like, oh, uh, or... Oh, uh, I kind of, the, one of the main reasons that I wanted to do it myself was because learning at things. I, I'm the type that can and read a full-on, um, a full-on book that when we will say, oh, uh, like, six-chapter book uh, with, like, three pages per chapter, you know? Very short little chapter book. Um, and then you ask me to write a book report on it. And I'm like, uh, I don't remember things I read. It's natural. My dad is kind of the same way. Where if it's something that I'm not truly interested in, and even if I am sometimes, I won't remember it. Or it like, I generally can't remember things. Like, if you were to ask me to uh, read a book, uh, and then afterwards just ask me, like, four questions about the book. Like, the character's name, what the main plot of the story was, and then some... <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Like, and I couldn't tell you general thing. I couldn't tell you the names of the characters. I don't pick things up that fine. Because really, in real life, I look at it this way. When am I going to really need to read a book? A book that's not even a, like, real thing, you know? Like, I, maybe a book about, um... Like a mini move book, which is a series of books that we read in school sometimes. Um, and it's like funny little comedy series, you know. Like, when am I going to need to know that in real life? I'm not going to need to know um, um, or remember or how many and moon went flying through the air into outer space, you know, um, on a tractor. I'm gonna need to know like real life things and so yeah I had to go on that one so I was definitely eager to see my mom's reaction she ended up being like kind of at first like oh then let your dad do it you know at first I wasn't like 100% sure on this it kind of just took some time to grow on me. And yes, I know this piece is a lot longer. But it was so bad. So yeah, like I honestly, when I first finished it, I went like, oh, it's not 100% even, you know. Um, it's, but then as I kind of went, like, I, you know what, I spent a lot of time on it, I'm done. And now... And now I'm like actually in love. It like here's the thing. I hate short hair. Like short hair you can't do any hairstyles with. Like I feel like short hair you can maybe put like some hair barrettes or like some clips or something in your hair and then like that's about it. So I don't like short hair. Also, I naturally don't think I look good in short hair. Especially in a box cut. At one point, my, my mom made me go through a phase called a box cut. First up, the name box cut just sounds weird and doesn't sound nice. Then when it comes down to actually doing it, it looks really bad on me. Like in some cases, I could see it looking good on some people, not myself. I look horrible. Um, well, and like now I especially don't like it. It like when I was little I kinda just didn't like it or care for it. But I didn't have a general hate towards it. Now I do because I feel like I would look a lot like a little little kid, you know, like because I'm naturally short. Like I'm literally sitting in the chair. With my knees on top of each, my legs kind of foam, and, and later my feet are the only thing off the chair. And they're not even fully off, like, you know, like, so I'm a short person. Life happens, you're being short has its advantages. I'm not mad that I'm a short person. You know, like, I'm definitely not mad. I feel like I want to want to be average. I would want to be either short or tall because both of those have advantages and I would actually rather be short than tall to be honest because when you're tall 
Like, it's hard to get into, like, shorter places and stuff. Mm. Okay. But, yeah, like, so naturally, I, like, I like being short, you know? Um. Um, give the video if you're in the short squad or like if you're naturally short or if you're any height. Just give the video a like, okay? And bring, honestly, I want to talk to you about liking and what it really does. Liking this video is actually helping me a lot. Like one simple like is helping me so much because first up, I know if you like this sort of content you know or it help me out figuring i personally like to have video plan like that not just sit down and talk although sit down and talk aren't the worst in the world they're just not my favorite i just do so many of them because i don't have a lot to do you know like for me it's at the point where i don't have a lot to do Unless you want to watch me, like, watch YouTube all day with my headphones on. But I don't think you would want to see that. So when I do something that is even the slightest bit interesting. I jump right on it and I go for it and film it because... That's, right now it's at the point where it's really hard for me, especially starting up my other channel. Because no one is subscribed to them. Literally, so I, for those who don't know, I have some other YouTube channel. I have Sammy Fan Forever, my dog's channel. We're actually about to film for that. Where I post three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Although I didn't post yesterday, I'm going to post a second, or a little bit. The reason it was yesterday, I was kind of just, bleh. I was actually not kind of bleh, I was really bleh. And... So yeah, for me it's like a lot of work. I love you, baby. But yeah, I'm excited for the summer. Uh, I'm kind of sad, though, because we won't be able to do anything outside. Fun, because I am not going outside this summer. Because we have had a big frog issue lately. Usually, we see a few frogs and a lot of lizards. And I'm terrified of frogs and lizards. <sighs> And, but we had a big issue with frogs this year. Every time we come back here, we see them on, like, the bathroom window. Because the bathroom in here has a window. Kind of weird for a bathroom, but. And, like, we're just constantly dealing with, like, frogs. Frogs and stuff. Like, we just constantly are dealing with frogs and stuff, so I'm not going outside 
for that reason. Because I am terrified of them. And I feel silly saying it, but it's honestly, overall, we have a lot more to do inside anyway because our yard doesn't have anything. Our yard does not have a trampoline or anything. We will never have a trampoline because mom and basically I have bond on her ground so my mom thinks that like no trampoline and, and honestly she let me go to trampoline. I'm saying maybe one day in the future we might one day have like an in-ground one. But for the most part, we're not getting the trampoline. And we don't have anything outside, you know. Oh, um, so there's no point in going outside, really. So, yeah, but we're doing a bunch of inside things. But honestly, inside we don't have much. Like, it's just kind of, eh. Uh, yeah. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. It's a hot mess. But I have a, another channel, Sammy, Sam Forever, my dog channel. We also have one, Lolly's Fans Forever. So that is a channel. Wait, let me let me clear all of these notifications real quickly. But yeah, it's uh, uh, I'm just excited, but I've been having an issue with my other channel. The issue is I want to keep post. It's that I don't want to post really fun videos on it. It's like if because no one from nobody's watching them, and I feel like my fun videos like eventually one day someone will watch. And when, in like almost a year, when I'm where I am with this channel, maybe longer. I don't know. Yeah. You know what? I think I need okay. Sam. Let me get that bippy Sam. You need to hit me with them. I need to change bags for the big walk right up here, dude. Yeah, I can tell you saw it.
that she discovered in the uh, show be down um, for the one year on YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, for me, anyway. You don't mm -hmm. really know when her did. Because she started but didn't really remember. She doesn't remember the date or anything. So for all we know, it could have been today. Could have been? We don't know mm. for her. We know for me, I actually like marked it in my calendar. And I'm going to be here back here in a few minutes and do my pajamas. Okay. You got a bedroom in there full of junk. Why don't you be in there doing your thing? Sometimes it's just easier when I'm like, I don't want to film, but I know I need to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So, I'm at Tiny. She's completely planning everything for that day, except for one thing. So I have, I'm getting a little worried because I don't know what she's going to think. So we are going to actually text her right now. Hey, hey Bella, um, I'm currently filming but I want to say to give you a reminder um, that you get to plan almost anything you want that's at home and even if it involves like buying something that's like cheap maybe for my one year on YouTube and also can you let me know when you are like coming so we kind of have a schedule a little bit ahead. in my voice. I don't think it's there. Hey Bella, I want to remind you that you get to plan my one year on YouTube. You can literally pick anything, anything plus we're gonna bake a cake and you can, wait, let's redo that. Hey, hey Bella. Yeah. Hey, Beth. Wait, it's messing up. So we are going to turn off. Turn on. Hey, Bella. I want to remind you, you get to plan by one year on YouTube. We will be baking a cake like the day before, but you get to plan anything. You can do something to my room, whatever. I'm leaving it up to you because you... I feel like I want to be surprised that you are the one that actually knows me, like, the best, I feel like, and would actually surprise me really well and make it something really, really fun. Plus, I'm going to see if my mom can talk and figure out if we can maybe have Skylar come over that day or maybe spend the night, you know. Sounds fun. And also, let me know when you are coming. Wait, I'm just going to do it on. But yeah, so pretty much she is planning everything. I'm going to see if Skylar can come. I don't know if she'll be able to come for a sleepover. Maybe. <laughs> Let's 
Okay. And we are gonna be doing some awesome videos for you guys. Like some really fun videos at special events. So then we are gonna be doing some baking. Baking a one year on YouTube cake. Egg. We're not making it from scratch. We're just gonna use a mix and make it from like a mix. Sorry, there's a frog outside. But yeah, like that's gonna be fun. Some fun baking. But that will actually probably be on this channel. Maybe on my, um, I feel like I have to put it on my other channel because my other channel, Lolly Spin Forever, is baking and doing fun things. It's mainly a channel for baking. And I'm excited you so we're gonna be having some fun. We I don't know what we're gonna do because again that's up to her. But I'm excited. And I know she's gonna come with something fun. I feel like I kinda wanna do like either something super fun and like celebrating or like a super fun challenge. Maybe both. Mm. And I'm not excited, you know, it can be really, really fun. Because I, I think, I don't know what we're planning. We're just going to have some fun, see then whatever she wants. Mm. I'm excited and I'm really eager to see kind of what sort of fun things we are going to do. I don't know, like, when, um, I know, like, either the day before prom, we're going to do a fun bath video, like, take a nice bath video, you know, get ready, you know. But other than that, I don't really know, and I'm excited because it is July 26th, and I'm like really excited because she, Bella knows me so well, and I know she's going to nail it, whatever it is, and I know she's going to have fun with doing it, you know, so why not just live life, you know, and enjoy life because I'm the type that, honestly, at this point, I do kind of hope that by then, I really hope, actually, that we hit, um, let's see, I want to hit, like, about, I want to hit, like, 50, 50 subscribers by then, so I need you to share this video, you know, tell your friends to subscribe. Because I really want to hit 50 subscribers or more by July 26th. And that would mean the world to me. And I also really hope that I get to see my crush by then. Because literally spending that day would be amazing if I got to talk to him over the phone or just see him. And I know that's not going to happen. But a girl can dream. Or someone can dream, you know. 
um, dream thing, you know, and that I can't wait to see what we do, and I'm hoping that she'll have a fun day planned with fun activities. So, yeah, and I'm excited because uh, I worked really hard to get to this point, and I'm not about to stop here. You know? Hmm. Because to me, everything is important. And I do want you guys to know I am planning to go live around 1.30 this Saturday. I plan to, you know, if you guys, I'm just saying if you don't have to do this, if you guys do donate, like, money and, like, to get basically a lot of people I see in live chats, um, like, donate, like, money to that YouTuber to get their comment, like, shown a lot bigger so it's really noticeable. If you do, just know that is literally only going to be going on strict purposes of fun things and to make videos with. I literally am trying to get a few fun things, like... Personally, some of the things is, it is going to go on a, like, I, essentially, it's going to go, go on, like, something fun for videos, you know, like, a mystery reel, because I do want to get one of those for our channel, you know, to do some fun things or some, you know, we're going to do some fun things. And I'm not excited because, you know, life is life and we got to live with it and enjoy it as much as possible. I'm also outside for 4th of July because I think 4th of July, um, we might have something fun planned. You know, I don't know what our plans are, but... Honestly, I'm going to tell my dad or figure out if we can do something else for 4th of July than what we usually do. At this point, I don't even kind of, like, if Bella absolutely wanted to go see fireworks, mm -hmm. oh, we would. Versus, I would tell my dad and he would be like, okay. But for the most part, I think I would kind of prefer to do something at home. We did that last year with Bella, and it was amazing. The reason it is because I, it's really hard for us to leave, leave my mom. And, like, if we, and essentially we could bring my mom easily, you know, like, well, not easily, but we could bring her, you know. Because it's a little bit of a chance to get her to go place. So, yeah, like, you know, then to pretty much go see fireworks. And personally, there's not a lot of places around here that um actually do fireworks that I know of. Like, that aren't, like, crazy crowded. And, you know,
Well, we have this corona going around. I think we're just going to have to do like an at-home thing. And because we obviously don't want to put people in risk. Personally, I'm the one that says live life. Don't let this stop you from seeing family, you know. Like, if it's family, yes, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just outside and we're going to see, I'm going to try to voice text Bella again. That's bad. But not voice text her just regular. Okay, so I texted her. Yeah. That's it for this video.